Right now we have the opportunity to meet Eric Overton virtually through our screen. We are thankful that he is joining us on our show. He's a filmmaker, photographer, artist, physician. He has many talents and he has a film out right now that you can watch online that focuses in part on Utah. Eric, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Happy to be here. So tell me a little bit about your background. Again, as I said in the open, artist, photographer, physician, you have many things going on. Yeah, sure. I guess, uh, you know, I'm, I'm the youngest of six from a, a family in Utah. Um, when I was a teenager, I was just searching for my, uh, my calling, the medium that I was going to work in, and the photography really struck a chord, and I stuck with that. Um, got some jobs working with Rolling Stone magazine uh, out of high school and continued that for a few years and ventured into fine art and then on to medical school. And while in my uh, final years of medical school going into residency, I, uh, I, I, I learned this process. I went to Denver to, to work with uh, Quinn Jacobson, an expert in the wet plate collodion process, which is the photographic process that you see in the film. It's a process that was um, mainly used in the mid 19th century. So it was a way to learn a new process, get outside, photograph landscape, something that I really hadn't done in my photographic career um, a way to escape the noise and the chaos of the, uh, you know, the hospital. Um, that's about it. <laughs> so what made you decide to create a film, this film in particular, and why focus on this subject? Yeah, sure. I, um, it's kind of a funny story. I was finishing my residency in Phoenix and uh, all throughout my medical education and training, I was always making work and selling work, exhibiting work and a collector in Phoenix that um, was the CEO of a drilling company actually bought several large landscape uh, photographs from, from the series I call wild America, which is, these, uh, you know, these uh, wet plate collodion photographs from various um, really important areas of wilderness in the Western United States. So um, we just naturally began this uh, conversation about landscape. We were two very different people, um, but we listened to each other and I proposed this idea, you know, that this is, this is kind of interesting, this relationship that we're forming. Um, maybe we can collaborate in some way to create a, a, a documentary film about the landscape and more importantly about the processes that we use. And when I say we, I mean, all of us, that we use to bond with the landscape, to connect with it. Um, and that's what you, we, we see in the film, the various characters. What I did in making this film was investigate what it was that each, each individual really, really loved, what their, what their special connection was, and the conversation naturally evolved from that. My process, obviously, as we see, and we name the film, this is the collodion process, which is something that really saved me and it th throughout my, my, my journey in medicine, but really gave me uh, a clear path in how I could connect with other people, with the landscape, with myself on a deeper level. But more than that, and you, again, you see this in the film, is the way that uh, my children, my kids, my, my son and daughter come into um, my, their relationship, their, their bonding with it. And it, it's really interesting. I thought I was going to, uh, you know, I was, <laughs> I was learning something and I have all this knowledge about the, the land like I'm this expert. 
but then I get my kids out in the landscape and turn the camera on them. And it was so natural. It was so easy. They didn't need any direction. They knew exactly what they were doing. And uh, it became a really interesting integral part of the film. And that's why we give the subtitle the process of preservation. It's that it's that, uh, you know, passing on um, for future generations. This, you know, the, it, it, and there are so many political issues and we started out um, looking into the Bears Ears Monument, which is a really interesting, special, beautiful place that I had been photographing. But we realized early on that this wasn't a political film. This, this was so much more than that. It was so much deeper. Um, and you'll see that if you uh, take a look. It's it's on Amazon right now, Amazon Prime. You can watch it for free. It's just an incredible look at beautiful landscape, really interesting and fascinating people. Tell us one more time, Eric, how can we find more information about the film and find more information about you and everything you're involved in? Um, yeah, we're working on a second film now. Uh, information about me and my photographic work can be found at my website, ericoverton.com. I would encourage anyone interested in seeing this film to just go to Amazon Prime and uh, check out the trailer. And that is our main platform. Obviously, we were going to have our world premiere in Washington, D.C. at the Department of the Interior. Uh, that was set for late March. That was canceled. We had to adjust. So we went straight to video on demand to really share the message of this film, which is how we can uh, better connect with the beautiful landscape, especially in Utah. I mean, it's, 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 it's absurd how, how lucky we are with everything that's in Utah. Well, Eric, it's been a pleasure talking with you this morning. We were showing images of the film. You can see it's beautiful. You really connect with the landscape, connect with the individuals. So you can watch that on Amazon Prime. Eric, it's a pleasure talking to you, local Utah filmmaker, artist, physician, photographer, and more. All right, we've got more coming up on this Monday. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us.